So hi YouTube, it's Kralisa Victoria. I don't know if you guys could see me, but this is not fo um, a video that's going to be focused on seeing me. If you guys are new to my channel, then make sure you guys click the subscribe button and also click the bell to be notified when I post a video. I'm going to show you what's inside of my refrigerator right now. I did just go pick up some things from the grocery store. My refrigerator already kind of had what was popping um, for the week, what I eat. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys a few things out of my refrigerator and I will post this video up hopefully today. If not, it'll be this week. So let's get started. All right, guys. So basically, if you guys don't know and throughout this video, you'll hear me, but you probably won't see me as much. Um, maybe just like hand movements and stuff showing you what's in the refrigerator. So basically, um, I guess we could just start out here. This is a green tea in here. This is my cold beverage that you know this container keeps my beverages hot and cold right now I'm sipping on Jensen green tea um, it's really really good for you ah, it tastes so good but that's what I'm sipping on in this cup if you guys was wondering what is she sipping another thing I keep in my refrigerator and I'm in the door panel I'm not gonna turn the camera I'm just gonna bring these things in front of you guys is when I want something to eat like uh, maybe a little dip chip and dip I'll get that and I like the Tostitos creamy spinach dip to be quite honest I don't like spinach like that but I was actually turned on to this um, dip from my big sister she really loved it and when I had it I tried it first I didn't like it this was a while ago then you know if you have it again then you your palate kind of adjust and then now I like it so that's a snack another thing I keep in my refrigerator which I'll be shooting a separate video at some point but ladies, probiotics. Probiotics are very good for us, um, our overall health as a woman. Um, it helps with the digestion in our gut. It helps with so many different things to keep our, um, our pH and everything intact, um, keep the body the way it should be. So that's something to consider. Now typically I drink eternal water or I drink um, water that is like uh, Essentia. And those are pH focused. But in the event that I'm carrying water like this in my refrigerator, which there are sometimes excellent deals at Walmart or, or Publix and these um, Pure Life, a lot of times if I drink these, I might use these water bottles to make my tea if I don't boil my water for my tea. Or I'll drink them and a lot of times I'll add like a lemon or something. As you guys can see, I have some lemons right here. I'll add a lemon um, to my water. Um, I'm also drinking Aquafina, which is on top of the refrigerator. Um, you know, and of course I add my lemon to my water. But since I'm down here, um, I have some Granny Smith apples. Um, so those are gonna be good because those are delicious. Um, or Honey Crisp, no, Honey. I never know the rest of the apple, but it's like honey, not the Granny Smith. Um, those are the apples that I'm eating this week. I also have some bananas that I have sitting to the side, still in the bag. Got my bananas so I can eat them with yogurts or eat them alone or eat them even on top of my bagels with peanut butter or something. So then down here we have my carrots to just snack on. It was two for five dollars I think so I bought two bags I can either dice them up and put them in my salads or I can just eat them whole as a snack I also have my bell peppers for when I cut them up for my yummy salads I have um, cucumbers for salads um, I also have tomatoes for salad like a mixture of like tri pepper mix for salad and I also have some asparagus when I make those um, so that's that. So then for drinks, since we're on the drink row again, water again, the kombucha drink actually had a new one today. Um, and I was in the grocery store and they were like advertising it. So I like sampled it. So apparently a strawberry lemonade. So I picked up one of those and got a discount. Then of course I have my regular hibiscus ginger. I picked up almond milk is back there behind my grapefruit juice. I have orange juice that I already had during the week, but I know that this is going to get, this is going to be the lit, this, this is going to be lit in my cup, so I already know that this is going to be gone quick, okay? So I already bought another orange juice back there. Then I have my palm juice, which is really, really good for um, 
reducing antioxidants and stuff like that. It's antioxidant rich. So I drink that sometimes when I feel like, you know, my body needs it. Um, I picked up some Lunchables because I'm never a grown up, still a kid at heart. I don't get the um, pepper, pepperoni and stuff in it because I don't eat meat. So I get just the one with the little cheese and a little salsa just for if I need a snack. So people were looking at me in the grocery store because I picked up three for seven today. And I'm like, no, I don't have any kids. It's for me, people. Mind your business. Just a little joke. Okay, guys. So then I also have my cream cheese, which is strawberry. Sometimes I eat peanut butter on my bagels. I got these earlier in the week. Um, first time ever trying the um, bagels. They're called um, Finnegal Bagel. But basically, I'm not big on everything bagel, but that was the only like thing they had they didn't have a plain bagel so I picked them up anyway because they're hundred percent natural and I just wanted to taste them because they say you know they're like they're handmade um and this is like these are like some of the best bagels that have been made so I taste them I do like them I will continue to get them hopefully they got plain bagels but if not I just scraped some of the um everything sesames off and it does okay for me then I have my eggs of course which are organic eggs I normally boil these eat these as a protein snack but if I want breakfast then just a little scrambled egg and a bagel or a scrambled egg fruit something like that and a drink will do me then I have my grapes as you see my my fruit drawer is down there but I'm trying to I rinsed off my grapes so I kind of got to let them I'm trying to let the cold in the refrigerator dry them off before I set them in the drawer then I have my spinach I can put my spinach in my smoothies and I can also put my spinach in my salads. The darker the greens, the better. And of course, we all know that green is good for you. Go green. So then I have my strawberries. Please excuse me if my braids are in the picture. Picked up two strawberries sets because I love strawberries and they go good in my yogurts. They go good on my bagel with cream cheese, uh, strawberry, and they go good with smoothies. So, and then just eating them by themselves. And behind there, I have my blackberries per usual. If I get sick, like if it's that time of the month and I know that my, um, my, I need to reduce my inflammation in my body through antioxidants, sometimes I'll just make a whole blackberry smoothie to try to help my body as well as partake in a lot of antioxidant rich things as you guys seen. So then another thing that I have, um, are my yogurts which this week they were 10 for 10 Greek Chobani yogurt and then there was also some certificates that took off or not certificates coupons that took off some dollars for me so I saved a lot on my Chobani Greeks this week then I have my um, butter as you guys can see the goodness of olive oil and butter um, still closed I haven't used it yet but that's my butter, um, my margin, whatever you guys want to call it. But it's real butter. So that is what is in my refrigerator for the week. Okay, guys, I'm probably blocking the light. Um, of course, I got salad dressings and things in the cabinets. I have a vinaigrette in the refrigerator. Also keep pickles in my refrigerator. I do eat the pickles sometimes, but a lot of times the pickle juice does good for when I get nauseous. So sometimes I'll sneak up in the middle of the night and I will be sipping some um, pickle juice just to settle my stomach. So guys, that's it for today. Well, that's it for this video at least um, on my grocery haul for my pescatarian diet. If you guys have any questions, then make sure you guys comment in the comment section below. Ask whatever you want. Suggest anything you want. Just be appropriate in all measures I ask. Um, and if you're not following me on Instagram, check out Craylisa Victoria. And if you want to see what's going on in my collection and in my book writing, then look up Craylisa Victoria Writes and Craylisa Victoria Collection, and you will not be disappointed. Okay, guys, thanks again for watching my channel, mwah, mwah, mwah. and make sure you guys click a thumbs up on this video, subscribe, and make sure you tell somebody about this video. Click the bell if you want to be notified of every time I post a video of what's going on in my life. So hope you guys are having a fabulous Sunday. I will be probably uploading some footage of me doing a home workout after my post workout from or my pre workout at the gym. I'll be doing a post workout at home. So stay tuned guys and continue to be healthy and go green. Until next time. Bye. It's only 11 something. But why does it feel like
It's only a level something But why does it feel like it's true something?